Welcome to the Good News Radio broadcast. Hello, this is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Before Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. They say that jealousy is as cruel as the grave. I think it's because not only is it bad for the person who is the object of jealousy, but it's bad for the person who feels the jealousy as well. I heard of a story about two men who were in the same medical care facility in the same room, but one of the patients was bedridden. He became so jealous of the other patient because the other patient would get up and walk around. The other patient would go over to the window and look out of the window every single day. The bedridden patient would ask him what he saw. The walking patient would explain the beautiful world that he saw outside. He saw the sunshine and the flowers. He saw the blue sky and all the hustling and bustling of the people outside of those four walls where they resided. The walking man was joyful and shared his joy with the other man. The bedridden man became eaten up with jealousy and bitterness because he was stuck in that bed and the other man could see outside. He thought that it was so unfair that the other man was able to see outside and he couldn't. The day came when the walking man died. The bedridden man began to miss the walking man. He wasn't there to share the beauties of the outside world with him any longer. He expressed his feelings to someone. That person wheeled the bedridden man over to the window. The bedridden man was able to look outside the window and you'll never guess what he saw. There was no outside world to see. There was only a brick wall on the other side of the facade of the window. The bedridden man was so ashamed when he realized that the walking man had only shown him love the whole time he was there. He wanted to cheer him up, so he created an outside world to share with the bedridden man. Because of his jealousy, the bedridden man was bedridden in more ways than his physical body. He was all gnarled up on the inside of his spirit. When he realized that the other man had only wanted to show him a kindness, he was very ashamed. He wished that he could bring the other man back and make it right. But he couldn't. It was too late. I'll bet that attitude of forgiveness toward the other man had the power to set the bedridden man free. The Bible tells us that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Proverbs 14 and 30 says that Jealousy and envy rots the bones. How many of you want to have healthy bones? I sure do. How can jealousy rot the bones? Well, I think that when you are a jealous person, bad chemicals run throughout your body. You have bitter and envious thoughts. It robs you of your happiness. That same verse says that a heart at peace brings life. Jesus had to deal with jealousy during his walk here on this earth, and he told the people what the kingdom of heaven is like. He said that the first will be last, and the last will be first. He told about how the kingdom of heaven is compared to a man who hired some workers in the morning for a certain amount. He also hired some workers at the very end of the day for the same amount as the others. The first workers became very jealous because they had labored all day long, but the ones at the end only worked for a short amount of time and got the same wages. They complained to the employer. The employer said, Isn't it my business how I spend my money? God is going to give people eternal life to those who have got in very early and eternal life to those who got in very late by the skin of their teeth. Look at the thief on the cross. He repented at the last minute, and Jesus told him, Today you shall be with me in paradise. You may look at others and see that they are receiving the things that you have prayed for all your life, 
Don't let jealousy take hold. God may be working in your spirit to clean out the dross or the ugliness that you may not even fully realize is there. Don't be mad because God is being kind to another person. Your day will come if you stay pure in heart. I pray to God sometimes to let me stay pure in heart. I don't want God to leave me to my own devices. No, I need God every step of the way. We can get jealous when we lack wisdom and understanding. We can get jealous when we lose perspective on what's true and right and on God's goodness and love. Just like the bedridden man, we can become bedridden in our own frailties and bitter thoughts because we don't have everything we want. Spend time worshiping God. Spend time in His Word. There's just something so cleansing and comforting about God's Word. I remember the time after my husband passed away that I was going through a particularly sorrowful time. The feeling was overwhelming and horrendous. I was alone and there was no one to turn to but God. I ran to where the Bible was. I picked it up and did not take the time to look up an appropriate verse. I just let the Bible fall open to wherever it would. You'll never guess where it turned to. It opened up to the book of Numbers. I began reading the numbers about the census. It was a place in scripture that my eyes usually glazed over when I read it. I usually would skip over to subsequent passages that I thought was more interesting. I was at such a sorrowful state at the time that I didn't want to take the time to skip over to another passage. I just kept reading. I wanted to read God's word immediately. So that's what I did. I read it as if I were a drowning man in need of a life raft. What a miracle that is one time in my life that I know God came in like a flood. His word became so powerful to me and gave me comfort during my sorrow. I read and read and soon I went away laughing and rejoicing rather than crying and weeping. I know how powerful God's word is, even the numbers counting the senses. God's word is sharper and more powerful than any two-edged sword. God also promised us a comforter. Jesus told the disciples, it is expedient that I go away so that the comforter may come. The Holy Spirit, the comforter, can comfort many people all at the same time. He came in so powerfully when I needed him. It works. I'm here to tell you it works. So, spending time with God will purify your heart. It will get rid of the bad stuff. God will free us from being bedridden. And now, this concludes the message today. Again, this is Brenda Harris blessing you in Christ's name. May God's face shine upon you and show you his great favor.